Good morning, students. You're going to be using Sketchpad today and this week to create your winter landscape. So as uh, the usual, if you are um, doing it digitally, these are the following steps for today. You're going to take the image that I shared with you and you're going to drop it into your file. This is the painting that we are going to copy and create our own version of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it, make it a little bit bigger by extending it here on that corner. Then I am going to go to my paintbrush tool and I'm going to make sure paint into layer is not yellow. So you want it to be white. Okay. I'm going to choose the color blue because I want to have a blue landscape. Here you have the size of your brush and the sharpness of it. Okay. So we're going to start off by tracing what we see. It doesn't have to be exact, it could be your own creation, and of course you can go outside of the lines. I'm drawing and copying these, this landscape here. We have the foreground in front, which means this is closest to us as the viewer. Then we have a middle ground here, which is the brown trees in the background. And then we have the horizon line, which we want to show, and that's where the land meets the sky. So we want to have a horizon line, a background, middle ground, and foreground. Even though you don't see the trees in that painting, I'm going to extend it into my work. So again, you're simply tracing over this. You're adding like a layer on top of the original painting. And this is great for students who struggle with creating their own ideas. You can trace someone else's work as long as you kind of add your own colors and you're showing effort that you're doing it on your own. All right, then I'm gonna switch colors because I wanna copy their brownish background. So I'm gonna use this orange to represent what I see here. I'm tracing the color here. Now I'm gonna make the size of my brush bigger. Oop, that's too big. So I can fill in kind of the blanks. All right, I'm gonna go back, choose white for my snow. And basically this process is do and repeat. So maybe I'm gonna make my snow a little bit darker or actually yellow, pretend like there's a reflection of the sun because I don't want it to blend in with the white of the background, okay? Even the artist here has a bit of a gray as opposed to just a pure white. So as you can see, changing the size of my brush definitely, definitely helps with uh, drawing it a bit faster than if I was using this small line here. I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush. I wanna experiment, maybe doing something like the fur could look kind of fun because sometimes depending on what color you have, it could look like ice. So I'm gonna add like ice on top of my trees here. And I'm going to change again the paint color, make my ice a little bit blue. So what you're doing is you're using the original artwork, okay, in order to trace and then create your own interpretation of the winter landscape. So what everyone's going to do is they're all going to put this original image in their background. And then you guys are going to take the tools in the toolbox to trace over the image and create your own. Okay, I'm going to continue with fur because it looks really cool and looks like an icy tree. Now eventually what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the whole thing as much as you can with color. And then at the very end, you are going to erase that background image so that you are solely, solely means only, left with your original traced over art. This is a method often graphic designers use and I think it's fantastic for you guys to learn as well. Okay, and I'm kind of just going up and down with my mouse in order to create these lines. Some of you guys have touch screen so you can definitely do this with your finger if you have a touch screen but if you don't have a touch screen like Miss O you can use your mouse to kind of create all these lines. All right, I'll be sure to post the finished product, but this is the process so far. Good luck.